Hello class, in this video, we'll composite 3D character in video using After Effects and Maya. First, let's import our background footage. Create composition and apply 3D camera tracker. Once it's finished, you will see these track markers. Here we can select a one track marker and create a node and a camera. And then here we can select a few tracking points and create node objects for references. And then we'll go to the end frame and find a spot where the robot gonna stand. We'll select the track points and create node objects. Then we'll select a node object, duplicate and give it a new name and move it up and this will give us an idea of how tall the robot gonna be then add 0 second select all no objects hit PK and create a keyframe Hit S key for scale and create a keyframe. Go to the end frame and add a keyframe on scale channel and position channel. Go to the camera and create a keyframe on zoom channel and focus distance channel. Make sure you're creating the keyframes at both the end frame and the start frame. Then here we're going to save our project. In the assets I provided in class, you'll find a script. We're going to use it later. So here we'll select all of the node objects and the camera. And then go to script and run script file and load this script. So here we're going to export it as a Maya file, give it a different name. And for the options, you can keep as a default. And then you can click on export. In the second step, let's open Maya and hit F key to focus in the view. So this is the camera from After Effects and these are the tracking loads we created in After Effects. Here we're going to select all of the tracking loads, hit Command G to group them and select the camera and this group and hit Command G again to group all together. Select this whole group, hold on D and then you'll be able to move the anchor point. So you can hold on D and V to snap the anchor point on one of the tracking nodes. And then move this whole group. So here we can hold on V and X and it will snap the whole group to the center of the world. If the scene disappeared when you move away from it, basically you need to select the perspective camera and increase the number for the far clip plan. Now we're gonna select the whole group and rotate the whole scene down to make all the tracking markers on the floor plan. Then we'll go to a project window, create a new project, and select a location to create a project folder. And then put a name for the project. So this will create a project folder. And here let's save our scene. So you're gonna save in the project folder under the scenes folder and give it the same name. Here we can find the file under the scenes folder. Let's click on this button to display two panels. On the left panel, you can check on After Effects camera's view. So now the left window is from the After Effects camera's perspective. Now let's double check our frame range and frame rates. It should match with our original video. So here if you do a math, you can see it matches. Because in Maya, the first frame is frame 1, so that's why we have 331 frames. And After Effects, the first frame starts from 0, so that's why it only have 330 frames. Now let's go to the Characters folder, and select all of the texture images, copy them, and paste them into the Source Image folder. And then bring in the character in the scene. Select all of the components and hit Command G to group them all together. 
and select the global controller and scale it up to match with the tracking marker. And then from the After Effects camera's view, the character is not facing to the camera. So we can select the global control and just rotate it. So now from the left panel, you can see the character is facing to the camera. Here we'll go to the render setting and change the render using Arno. If you don't see it, go to Windows, Plugin Manager and search for M2A. So this is a plugin for Arno Render. So make sure you check on load it. And then you should see it appear here. Image format set as a JPEG and preset set as HD1080. This will match with our original video setting. Then add the left panel. Go to the camera setting and turn on resolution gate. And this will show us what is in frame and what is out of frame. When rotating the global controller, our character rotates. Character's neck and arm display weird. That's because we haven't scaled up the controllers. Hit Command G to group them and scale up this group. Select the global controller and at frame one, hit S key to create a keyframe. Go to 20 frame, rotate the global controller, hit S key. At frame 40, hit S key again to create a third keyframe. At frame 60, rotate the character to the other side and hit S key to create the fourth keyframe. And at frame 80, hit S key to create the keyframe. Hold on Shift and use your mouse left key to highlight the first four keyframes. Right click, copy, then go to frame 100. Right click, paste. Now we can copy the first eight frames and paste them on frame 180. So now we have the character loop the animation. Then we can select the arm controller. At frame 0, hit S key to knock a keyframe. At frame 20, place the arm down and hit S key to knock the keyframe. At frame 40, hit S key to create a third keyframe. At frame 60, zero out and hit S key. And then at frame 100, we can just copy the first four keyframes and paste it here. And same thing, we can copy the first eight frames and paste them on 180. And for the left arm, create a keyframe at frame 0, 20, and 40. At frame 60, let's bring it down and create a keyframe. At frame 80, hit S key to create a keyframe. And at frame 100, we can copy the third frame and paste it here. And then here we can copy the four keyframes and paste them at frame 140. And repeat this procedure to extend the animation. And from the left panel, you can see how it looks. Now let's create a plan. I'm going to use this plan as a green screen and place it in the back and make sure it covers the whole background from the After Effects camera's view. Here we're going to create a material. And for the color, I'm going to set as a green color. Same thing for the incandescence channel. And then select the plan and apply this material. And then we can go to the show and turn off nerve circles, joints, IK handle, locators, and grid. These will hide those elements from the render. And same thing for the arm and neck controllers. So we can select this group and go to display and hide selection. Now let's double check the frame rate of the animation match with the original video. And then we can go to the play blast. Make sure the time range is a time slider and encoding set as H264 so it will be MP4 video. And check on save to file and put a name for it and we can start render. You should find a render video in the movies folder. Copy it and paste it to the new location. And we'll also copy it our Amplifact project file and give it a new name.
Now let's bring in the rendered animation. Use the key light effect to get rid of the green screen and scale it up to make the resolution gate match with the frame. Here we're going to create a starting layer and choose a green color. And we'll create a shadow with it. So here we're going to draw a mask on it and increase the feather and place the starting layer under the render animation and check on 3D layer and find the node object that is underneath the robot and copy its position and paste it on the shadow layer. So here we can rotate it to make it a lay on the floor. And we can also scale it up and change the blending mode to multiply. Here we can increase the mask feather to make it more soft. Then we can hit Command D to make a duplication and lower down the opacity. For the second shadow, we're going to place it right underneath the foot and make a duplication and place it under another foot. So now the shadow should look realistic. Then we'll go to export and add the project to media encoder to render. Here for the codec set as H264 so it'll be MP4 video. 